Hi, I'm Travis Wirtz of Wirtz Machine Works, and I'm going to show you my new surface grinding attachment. But first, I need to do a little talk on contact wheels, because with surface grinding, to get a precise finish, a 60 durometer or a soft wheel is not going to get the results that you want. What I have here is a wheel just like mine that come with my grinder, the same blank, except it's covered with a 90 durometer serrated. A 90 durometer serrated is definitely what I recommend for surface grinding in general and especially with this attachment. Another option is this is a bader wheel and until until I have these in production which is basically on an order basis for the 8x2 serrated 90 durometer this is a very cost effective option. Um, I'm not going to price it on this video because who knows prices may change but this is a very affordable wheel. This is about a five and a half inch diameter, two and a half inches wide, and the two and a half inch width is nice for grinding wider areas, tracking the belt from side to side. Next, as far as attachment of the surface grinder, those of you that are familiar with my grinder are familiar with the manner. Got my hands full. That the tool rests plug in. The same receiver, it's a direct mount to the contact wheel arm and makes for a positive almost zero flex once everything's mounted up. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put my belt back on here. And this video I'm just trying to do a summary of basically how the surface grinder works and we'll do grinding in the next of uh, several videos. So here's the first part of the surface grinding attachment. There's really only two pieces. And if you see, this is a slide, and this is for your fine adjustment. Your lead screw here is actually a half inch fine thread, or a piece of all thread. In, on that is, I tried to design everything to where anything that could possibly wear out is a commonly, readily available part. Everything from the main, the main I guess, x-axis slide to the hardware that goes together. So you have your fine adjustment right here. One complete revolution is 50 thousandths. On this slide, and I'm not going to go into details of the slide, but it's not a typical dovetail way, and I think it's actually more suited to this application. And you have the tension of the slide is down here to where you can actually spin and make fast or fairly fast movements and then tighten it down when you actually want to surface grind and apply your force. Um, anyway, that's I think enough showing there. So this would just plug right in. Now, with the with the surface grinding attachment for other grinders that are out here, is this is what this is what'll be familiar. It'll be in the vertical sense, with the exception of the adapter that I'm making is going to be not vertical to hopefully not shoot anything into your foot. I hope I can say that on a video without getting me in trouble. On my grinder, is you have the convenience of working horizontally. So, with that piece applied, now I can do my course adjustment in and out, and then the rest is a fine lead screw here for your final adjustment. Now the second part of the puzzle is the top half of this linear slide and magnetic table. So. I'll simply apply this on here, and once the slide goes on, it's pretty well shrouded and keeps from debris from really getting in the slide. And the nice thing, since it comes apart, it's easy to clean, dirt and grindings don't stick to it that much, and the nice, even nicest part is I can take this, hang it on a wall, I can take this piece, hang it on the wall and your surface grinder takes up no more room than the grinder that's already in your shop. So, now to get started is I'm going to apply this back in here. Now, if you take a look at the table, this is a billet table and it uses I know I can't say it right, neo, neobidium magnets, rare earth magnets and it's in a steel table that 
well, I don't have another one, but I'll bring it into the camera and hope you guys can see it, is that the magnets are below the surface of the table itself. This allows you to actually face the table before you get anywhere near the magnets. So you're able to face the table as needed and be just about dead nuts parallel. Put this guy back on here. Now, this is this unit right here shown is basically how the package will come. Um, I may no. This is how it'll come. If I add anything extras, then good. It's a bonus. Um, but it'll come with a magnetic table, the slide, the cross slide, well, everything here basically. Now, what you may not notice, or I'm pretty much sure you don't notice it or haven't noticed it, is that this has a built-in tapering attachment. And it works pretty slick. Now, those of you that are familiar with a surface grinder or a lot of machining know that if you're going to grind a taper, you need a sign block or a sign table and some means of setting a, an angle. And you also need to have two shim stocks um, if you're going to taper a tang. One for the first taper on the first side and then one twice as thick for the second side. So I figured that's a pain in the butt so I simplified things and this has it with the built-in tapering attachment with two or with your three-quarter inch wrench sorry it's not three-eighths like everything on my grinder but here I can set the taper now it has what's basically a built-in sign table but with a doubling feature and I'll go over this in some of my other videos I have a feeling that hope you don't fast forward this and go right to my other videos but anyway I'm just using a feeler gauge set and just for conversation here's 75 thousandths so I can put this little guy in there and it's going point contact on a round rod I can tighten these down and it's set to 70 thousandths 70 thousandths taper per six inches now I run the one side I want to run the second side I loosen this back up take my same feeler gauge no need to have anything double stick it under the three inch point tighten it back down and I got a three or a seventy five thousandths or whatever I said it was before seventy five thousandths over three inch taper and it's repeatable and I can throw that right back down to flat tighten her back down and I'm good to go well I know I didn't do any grinding in this video but I think YouTube limits me to about 14 minutes so I'm gonna stop that one there and well start shooting the next video of some actual grinding